Hi guys. Yes, we are going to be doing a cooking video today. <laughs> and this is Tracker. Say hello to Tracker, everybody. <laughs> this is Abby's little rescue dog. And he's a, a great little addition to our family. Um, but today I decided to um, cook in Abby's kitchen because um, we have a lot going on in Amy's kitchen. We have like uh, caterings and stuff. So, and yes, we do catering. So in case you ever needed anything. But Abby has a beautiful kitchen set up here, so I said, you know what? We're going to take advantage of it and cook from here. <laughs> so today we're going to cook um, chicken in Voltini because that's what you guys voted for. I could not decide what I wanted to do, so I said, you know, I, actually it was Abby's idea. And she's like, well, you know, put it out there, take a poll, let them see. So we did, and you guys unanimously asked for the chicken dish. So I understand why, you know, a lot of families like chicken. Um, it's a great versatile dish, and I got a little foot warmer going on here now, so this is kind of nice. Uh, he's a doll. So I went ahead and I prepped everything for you guys. There's really not that many ingredients to it, and believe it or not, I do have it all written down, and since I'm not at the restaurant, I don't have it with me, but I will definitely post it on my Facebook when we're done, just like I always do. And um, for a lot of people that have been asking me about recipes, you can go on my Facebook. It's it's wide open. It's not private. It's Jennifer Amici's Branch. You click on my photos, and when you go to videos, they're all right there. So back from like 14 weeks ago. So you can look at them. The recipes are on there, and you can start cooking away. Um, it's like 22 weeks. Is it really? I know. 22 I know. Weeks? I was looking at them yesterday. Wow. Wow. <laughs> We've been doing this a while. Like, it's time flies. It's great. Okay, so I went ahead here and I put some oil in a pan and I already went ahead and I put the on just to get it warm and everything because Abs has an electric stove, so it does take a little bit longer for things to get heated up on it. In the meantime, I already went and got everything out. So we have a dredging station here, which automatically means, you know, we're going to fry something. So I have the flour. And she has a need just little, little bowls here, you know, <laughs> so I'm going to take advantage um, I have the flour, the egg's gonna go in here, and then I just have Italian breadcrumbs. Um, no, that's my coffee. And then I have the things for the chicken. So like I said, I went ahead and I pounded um, six chicken breasts, and I made them nice and thin, because basically, in Voltini means rolls. In Italian, it just means rolls. Like, not bread rolls, but like rolls of food. So like, you could do chicken in Voltini, you could do veal, um, it just means like to roll meat around something, um, even like a brajol. So that's a favorite of everybody's. I was actually thinking about making a brajol recipe for you guys also. So I wanted to show you how I already went ahead and pounded these out today, but um, I'm going to show you how to do that. So basically this is how we get our chicken at the restaurant. It's like all butterflied already. Um, so this is like a four or five ounce piece. And they actually take the fat off, they take it from the breast, and they do it that way. And I put it between wax paper, because this way it keeps this from getting like all the germs on it. And then it'll keep like, when you press down on it, it'll keep it on there. And if you don't have like a, a mallet to hit it with, uh, you can just use this. <laughs> we use this for a lot of things. Uh, but today we're gonna use it just to kind of um, flatten out the chicken here. So if you're having a really bad day, um, this comes in really handy. <laughs> As before, I went ahead and really pounded them at home. And my dog actually started barking. I think she thought someone was at the door. Okay, so it comes out nice. And put that back there. It comes out nice and thin. And that's what you want for an involtini because you want to roll it. Um, and you don't want them thick because then they took the cooking time takes a long time. So I'm just gonna put this one over here. These are much thinner. And we're gonna show you the whole process here. So right away, I have a piece of chicken breast and I'm working on a plastic cutting board. Um, it's always best to do chicken on a plastic cutting board. And we're just going to start layering everything. So I have some prosciutto here. Mm. And these are almost maybe like a crazy chicken in Voltini, you know? Prosciutto is nice and thin, so this works really well for it. And then there's um, provolone. So we're gonna put a piece of provolone on there. And then I'm just gonna put a couple pieces of spinach like this. If you, 
don't like spinach, you don't have to put it on. And then I'm going to put a couple um, sun-dried tomatoes because I like that little bit of tang. But like I always say every week when you make a recipe, you can make it your own. So if you didn't want to use prosciutto, you could use ham. Or if you didn't want to use provolone, you could use Swiss. Any of those would be wonderful with this. And then we're basically just gonna roll. So we're gonna roll from the fat end to the skinny end. And I'm going to roll just like that. So then we have an involtini, a roll. And I brought a couple toothpicks with me here. And I'm going to try to keep this closed. This is the one thing you have to remember now to take these out when you're serving <laughs> because you don't want to ever eat that. Um, we'll do another one here. These are nice and thin. And the thinner they are, the better, but you don't really want them like see-through because then it won't hold everything. And we're going to put the prosciutto there again and the provolone. And I gotta tell you guys, I've been getting so many wonderful pictures of um, people cooking um, the recipes and I'm so impressed. I mean, you guys are good cooks. I gotta say, um, Jackie Black has really been um, cooking a lot of the things that I've been making and I'm just so very impressed with it. It just makes me really happy too. So we're gonna roll from fat to skinny. We're gonna tuck all of this in. Just tuck it in, <laughs> don't be afraid. And then I'm just gonna bring this piece up like that and we're just gonna try to pin it together. There we go. And I'm gonna do another one. It's pretty easy. This is so easy. Cooking is easy, I tell you that mm -hmm. every time. And we're gonna take this piece of prosciutto. Prosciutto is my favorite meat. But you could certainly use like salami or pepperoni, um, any of these. I mean, you could really do a lot with these. And then just like a piece of spinach. So it has like the Italian flag colors in it. So anytime you put, that's what basically caprese means. It's a red, white, and green like that. So anytime you do that, it's caprese. So these are chicken caprese and voltini. <laughs> okay, and we're going to roll these again. And just keep sticking everything down in there. And don't try to make them too fat because remember now, we're gonna fry these and you want to make sure that the internal temperature of these reaches 165. I should have brought my thermometer. I don't know that you have one. I don't, okay. I never use it. I know. You don't either. <laughs> She's right, she learned from me. I actually just got it because my husband was driving me nuts. What's the temperature of it? I'm like, don't worry about it. I know it's done. It's not pink. It's fine. Right. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna wash my hands. Okay. We are back. We are back and ready to go. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna move this over here. Abby has so much workspace. I'm not used to this right now. I'm working with a small kitchen at home, and I'm driving my husband nuts. Hopefully, nuts enough that he'll get moving on it. Yeah, Josh, take a hint. I mean, you know, my husband's a carpenter, and I've got the house that's not finished so sorry to call you out babe <laughs> okay just gonna make an egg wash here there we go get that out of there. i'm gonna break the eggs up here oh these are nice handles spouts i stole them from annie you got some fancy stuff here girly <laughs> and i'm going to put mine with a little bit of milk. This is whole milk. I don't like to skimp at all when I'm cooking. I said to her, you can keep all the ingredients that I brought over with you now. You can keep them. She doesn't drink whole milk. She drinks skim. <laughs> yeah, but I'll take everything else. Yeah, I know. The bread. You can have the prosciutto. Everything. Yeah, we'll just do every video okay. here. So what we're going to do is we're going to just take these and we're going to put it in the flour. Everybody knows how to dredge by now. We're gonna roll them in the flour, cover them, right? Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna put them in our egg wash, roll them around, and then we're gonna put it in here, breadcrumb. And that's how you bread something so it's flour, egg wash, breadcrumb. Look at that. So I'm gonna turn it up now. 
Now, if you wanted to make these just without the breadcrumb, you could certainly do that too. That's a very healthy option. Um, if you don't want to fry them, you know, put all the breading on it, you could just fry them plain like that. We could do one like that to show you. And another good thing with these is you can eat them plain like this after they're finished, or you could put a sauce on them. You could, of course, use a basic marinara sauce, or you could use a pesto sauce. Um, I would not ever do anything with Alfredo because that's just overpowering. Mm -hmm. And then you could do what I was thinking would be really, really good with these, because you know I'm such a lemon fanatic, <laughs> is um, a really nice lemon and olive oil over the top of them when they're done, and some basil. That would be so delicious. So you know the internal temperature of a um, chicken has to be 165. So since we don't have the thermometer, we're just gonna keep them going for a little bit here. If it flies, 165. Perfect. <laughs> Shake off the excess. We're not gonna overcrowd our pan, so three worked out to be really good. We're just gonna let those go for a little bit. Tracker, you are being such a good boy. Huh? <laughs> you smell all this delicious food. You're just hoping something falls. <laughs> Poor guy. Huh. All right. Yeah. If anybody has any questions, you know, let me know. I mean, obviously, look, Abby is a fascinating I'm fanatic here. This is her cookie jar and her candy jar. And her, that's her timer. So, you know, her having this dog was a dream come true. He's a good boy anyway. It's all pioneer woman. <laughs> Everybody loves her. Yeah, Everybody. man. <laughs> I could sit. She's on Wednesday mornings. I could sit all day and just watch her. <laughs> she makes me lazy. Yeah. So. These are cooking up really nice, and this is just basic canola oil. I like to fry in canola oil. Everybody knows you don't fry in olive oil because the cooking uh, temperature of it is not very good. It'll start smoking and burning. So, um, mm, don't they smell good? They do. Mm. So, what we basically are waiting for it to do, we want it to brown on all sides. And, and now I just heard guinea pigs. Yeah, this so house this is, is a zoo. Like being at Dr. Doolittle's house over here today. <laughs> Wait for a bird to go flying by or something, you know? They, they used to live with me, too, so I miss them. I don't hear their little squeals, but they wanted me to know they were here. So. <laughs> right, Jack? Right? All right. So um, I just uh, I want to let you guys also know that we still um, we have our aprons for sale, and we've been getting some orders for those. Um, a lot of people ask me for baseball caps, so I went ahead and I ordered those. So we're just going crazy with the ordering of Oh, yeah. Let me get my black one. Okay. Nope. We already showed that one. We probably did not. Good. Now I get to read some of the things on here. All right. So I see Gloria. She goes, the puppy is so cute. Gloria, he's three years old, and he's a beautiful little, um, let me get him on there. There. He's a beautiful little basset hound. He's adorable. Um, and then I see Linda said, I forgot to flower first. Now I know. Always. And then um, add him up. Hi, Tommy. Thanks for joining us today. And yes, Tracker is good with the guinea pigs. He just sits there and smells them, to be honest with you. Yeah. Hi, Mel. Mel brought me the most amazing lavender ice cream this week from her ice cream shop. She is the owner of Mora Ice Cream. You can find her down on King Street. And she got rid of the lavender for the fall. So she brought me in. I am enjoying it. Hi, Pamela Brown. I love you. Look at all these people watching. Okay. So as you see, this one is beautiful brown. And I'm going to turn. It helps because Abby has really nice pans too. <laughs> Walmart, man. Hey, you can find some good stuff at Walmart. All right. So these are going to keep going. All right, where's your hat there, Chicky? Oh, I do have a hat. You're right. That was the apron. She's about to get dressed in Amici's clothes oh, here. <laughs> we have t-shirts. We have hats. We have aprons. We have bags. We have everything. All right, guys. So look how nice this is browning up here. And um, it, it's a little bit of a long process. So if you didn't want to finish it like this, um, you could take them here now and put them in the oven to finish baking them.
just so you know, you could set the oven on 375 and put them in there for like another 15 minutes. But we're just going to let them go like this today, get them nice and crunchy. Okay. Do not. I, I will not house. show her. I'm in my pajamas. Okay. So. <laughs> Let me switch it around. I'll show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, well, I can't put it on my head because I have a bun of all days. Yeah. So, anyway, this is our Michi fall cap. And, you know, it's a snapback, so you can put your pony through there or just if you're a man and you have a large head like that. Um, but this is the Michi fall cap, and we got all black. And it has, like, our logo on it and everything. So, they're really super cute, really super, super. I wear it everywhere just because I like to, to know where I'm at. All right, track. <laughs> You don't want to wear. And then we didn't show these ones last week. Right. And these are our other aprons if you don't like colored ones. Um, I was actually going to wear it today, but because I had black on, yeah. um, I just felt it was like too much. So this is um, our black apron. Um, and it's just our, just our logo, just nice and simple. But they're just like the colored ones and they have, um, they're waterproof. Mm -hmm. So everything just, you know, rolls right off of them. And we always have to have pockets for phones and stuff like that. You know, God forbid, they're so important. So. so that's just a couple of things we wanted to show you. Okay, so these are really cooking away here. And while they're in here, I'm actually going to try to take these toothpicks out. Because now I'm going to turn it on that side. Oh, wow, that's a great light. <laughs> God, you know what? There's nothing better than the smell of, like, a chicken cutlet. Yeah, no way. Aren't they great? Mm -hmm. Let me get this for you. So how much were the hats, the Michi's hats? The hats are ten ninety nine, nine ninety nine, and then the apron we said it was nineteen ninety nine. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna pull the toothpicks out. You don't have to do it now, but I'm making it easy. They're obviously gonna stick together now, so I'm taking these out. Careful with the oil. I've always gotten a million uh, cut of burns on me, so. Oh, God. One of the things I always loved the best in my mom's kitchen, and she always used to think it was like just some simple, easy dinner for us, was she would make chicken cutlet. And the way she just browned it low and slow just gave them this outside crust like this that was so crunchy, but the inside was always tender. So you have to remember, cooking takes patience. Um, you can't turn these on high and walk away because that's when they get burned and then the inside is raw. Everything takes a while. So, if I had the thermometer, I might be able to tell, but they were kind of thin. I'm sorry. Dang. It's my fault. <laughs> I should have prepped a little better. So, um, yeah, I see the cheese inside is melting. So, they're pretty hot inside. So, just a couple minutes more. And if you were going to add some more um, chicken into here, you would maybe want to take some of this oil out put it in a can or whatever, and add some new oil in because if you keep adding into this, the, chip, the oil kind of gets kind of dark and then it, you start tasting burnt bread crumb in it instead of the chicken. So you never want to overcrowd it either because then it won't go to the temperature and it'll, it'll be soggy. So but I learned all this the hard way. When I, you know, when I first got married, it was a disaster, believe it or not, with my chicken. It was like rubber. And I used to say, why can't I cook with my mother? Mmm, they smell so good. Okay. Like I said, we're just trying to get the internal temperature up to 165. We could cut it and, you know, open it up and see. Um, I also said if you didn't want to finish frying them on here, now you can put them in the oven, 375 for like 15 minutes, and just let them cook in there. But be careful if you want to put a pan like this in the oven because this is not an oven safe handle. So you always have to keep watch when you put a, um, a pan in the oven. So um, also when you're doing poultry now, you have to throw away the breadcrumb, the egg, and the flour, unfortunately, because they cut raw chicken. And we can't have that. So that just goes away, and the cutting board, you always have to um, clean those off all your utensils. Poultry is one of those things you just cannot play with. Frack, are you making noise over there? Huh? <laughs> All right, so I think I'm just going to cut one of these down the center. You know why? I'm being impatient because <laughs> I am dying to try this. It is, oh, my God, it's so nice and crispy. They just look so good. There we go. And now all you have to do is just squeeze like a little lemon and olive 
olive oil over the top of it and it would be so good. I actually have a, um, I'm just going to try one here, guys. Here. Let's hope for the best here. We got the toothpick here. Get a bit. You want to get a fork? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, look at that cheese oozing on out. Oh, look at the inside, guys. Look at the inside of this now. We've got the ham. We've got the prosciutto. Look at that piece. So beautiful. Yeah, it's so juicy. Oh, still. my gosh. It's, yeah, it's incredible. So I'm going to have a piece also. Ooh. Look at this. All done. The spinach. Look how pretty these are. Aww. I'm loving it. All right. Where's my fork? All right, you take a piece, I'll take a piece. Why do we always eat it when it's extremely hot? Well, because this is, you know, I know. people overeating. I love the breath pump. Uh huh. Mm. Honestly, you don't even eat sauce. No. What? No, it's so juicy still. The cheese. I love sun dried tomatoes, so that was a good call. I did not I know you were, you were putting that in. So. Uh, you know what? I wasn't going to. Yeah, I didn't see it in the um, photo. It wasn't. It wasn't in the photo at all. But I love them so much, and I said, you know, I'm going to add them in here. So. Yeah. Um, guys, these came out super, super good. Yeah, that's perfect. That didn't take long at all. No, not at all. They're nice and crispy. The inside is done. If you want to make sure, just get an internal, you know, a temperature, a thermometer. Uh -huh. Put them in the oven. But let me tell you something. The um, prosciutto inside yeah. oh. still stayed soft and juicy. Nice and flavor, nice and salty. Um, I did not add any salt and pepper to these because of that. And then you got the spinach, the cheese. It's just so good. The impultini. Mm -hmm. Try it, guys. You're going to love it. You can eat them just like that. Put a little sauce on them. And um, we will uh, see you guys again next week. Who knows? We could be from here. We could be back in Amici's. We could be outside. Who knows? Right, Track? Right, Track? See, bye bye. Bye, guys. Have a great afternoon. Be it. Want you to stop down at Amici's.